Today we're going to be looking at Comtac International's holster for the Walther PPQ. I'm going to start off by saying thank you Comtac for finally making a holster for the PPQ. I think it's long overdue to find a good quality outside the waistband holster. For a long time the only holster that was available was DeSantis's Speed Scabbard and I'm not going to knock that holster because I've never seen it but I just don't like leather holsters with the polymer semi-autos I just think it's kind of a mixing and matching of I don't know it just doesn't appeal to me uh, and then eventually I think a few of the Kydex holster manufacturers who are doing the Raven concealment style holsters came out with holsters uh, Zero Concealment, Hideous Holsters, some other guys I like those holsters, I just don't like the way they look. Uh, I think the Walther PPQ is a pretty sexy gun and putting it in a holster that's like boxy, I, I just didn't like it. I mean it functions and it does exactly what it's meant to do and I have them with my Glocks. But I just I just didn't care for it and decided to wait. I bought this gun back in January and shot probably about 1500 rounds through it since I've owned it. And I'll do a review pretty soon on it. And just kind of waited for a holster. I'd bring it to the range and, you know, leave it on the table, load up the mags, and fire them. I think it's a great gun and looks awesome in this holster. I think the combination is great. So I love the PPQ. I think there was two problems with the PPQ. One of them being magazines. You can't seem to find them right now. Uh, I only have two and I really want more, but it's an awesome mag. The second was there wasn't any holsters available for a long time. And I got lucky. I was just kind of browsing on the internet and stumbled onto a post at Walther Forums where someone was nice enough to go through and link all of the available holsters for the PPQ. And I'll share that on the bottom for people if I can find it again. I think I have it saved. And I was clicking through and saw that finally, like, Crossbreed, uh, Old Faithful, White Hat, and the, those inside the waistband hybrid style holsters were being manufactured. And then I saw Comtax, and I was like, this is awesome. Finally, I love Comtax holsters. I think they do a great job. And I really wanted an outside the waistband holster. Blade Tech was also on that list. I personally prefer Comtax over Blade Tech. Uh, I think they're both great quality holsters, it's just brand loyalty for me really. Uh, I do have a Blade Tech somewhere lying around here that came in the M&P range kit. Uh, it's a great holster, but I think this is a better one. I'll talk about why. I paid $69 from Comtac. It said it would ship in two days, ordered it in the evening. By the next morning I had an uh, email saying my holster had shipped with a tracking number. That was great news, it's much faster than I expected. When I ordered it, I selected a few options. The first is, I don't know what I was thinking, but I put FBI Cant. Uh, I wanted to use this holster for IDPA, I currently don't compete, but looking to in the future if I can free up enough time to actually get out there to some of the practices around here. And uh, it says the, the offset isn't IDPA compatible, and I was thinking the speed uh, I think they call this the speed uh, something, I'll annotate the video. And so I chose the FBI cant, which is a 15 degree forward cant, and I hate that, it wasn't comfortable. So I thought, when I looked at it, that it would be easy to change with these screws here, and these kind of female plugs, I forget the name of these. And I've owned the Blackhawks, and the Blackhawks super easy, you just unscrew these and screw them back in, and you don't have to worry about it. It's not true with the Comtac, and I think this is one of the downfalls of the holster. So when I got it, this is the original one that was in here, and I think there was one here, you can see the holes a little bigger, and another here to make the cant. Or another, I, I don't remember exactly how it was set up. And I basically had to take a screwdriver and push each one of these plugs out, except for this one. And then I had to take a 3 and 16th inch drill bit and drill these out, and it, it still wouldn't fit the plug through there. So I had to take the screw here, put it through the hole, put it into the plug, crank it through, and it got it far enough in there where it was finally stuck in there and then I could get the paddle here on there and I screwed it down and it pulled this the rest of the way through. The funny thing is these two that I had to switch they don't spin. Uh, this one spins and this is the one that Comtac installed which I'm not super happy with. I'm uh, not a big deal because I don't really change it out but I have to put a screwdriver in here and take the allen wrench and crank it down with a screwdriver so it doesn't spin. Not a big, big deal. I would like it to work a little bit better than that. Um, just something that's kind of annoying. 
The great thing about the holster too, other than getting it pretty quickly, is I have the choice of getting a paddle here, and I really like the paddles. Uh, some guys might not like them because they slide. I usually put it in between my belt loops, so if it does slide, it only slides minimally. And also, I'm not running around with the gun. I'm, I'm fairly stationary when I go to the range. I just like to shoot and enjoy myself, usually. So I chose the paddle because it's easy to switch, so if I bring several guns with me, I can switch to a different holster pretty quickly and pretty easily. But it also came with the belt loop holster here, which was really, really nice. Uh, this is size for a one and a half inch belt. These break off, I believe, and you can put a two inch belt here. The same thing's going on on the paddle. You can see where you're supposed to break them off. The only thing I don't like is that once you do it, you're stuck with the two inch belt, but I never wear a two inch belt. I'm always in a one and a half, so it doesn't matter to me. Another great thing it came with was the offset drop here. I've never used it. Uh, just nice to have, as well as coming with some screws. And then it came with two bags of Smarties, which was a nice touch. Ate one of them already a long time ago. These are old now. <laughs> but that said, I really liked the attachments, and it was great to get three of them. I thought that was a nice added value to it. Another great thing is you'll see the retention screws here. You can adjust the retention screws. Mine's pretty loose right now. It does hold the gun if I hold it upside down. Um, if I shake it, it falls out, but I like it because it draws very, very smoothly. Ergonomics of the holster is great. Finger always finds that spot right there, super easy to do. Another great thing is that all that room for your front sight, if you want to do, if you want to change the sight, which I'm planning on putting a Dawson Precision on there, if you watch my other videos, you know I really like the fiber optic sights that it doesn't really matter if I go with a higher sight. I mean, I'm never going to put a sight that high on it, but it's just nice to know that I'm not going to have to worry about it. Quality-wise, it's rugged. Again, you know, I'm not running around with it. It's going to be more rugged than anything I'm going to need it for. I'm sure if I took a hammer to it, I could probably put some dents and crack it, but everyday wear and tear, like a guy like myself is going to do to it, it it's every bit as rugged as I'm going to need it to be. Another great little feature, because I like things to look nice and have that sexy look to it, it's nice that it kind of says PPQ there, and I'll zoom in again, I was in the beginning of the video, but I just thought that was a nice touch. Uh, not that it really matters, but, you know, it just looks nice, in my opinion. Some guys might hate it. That's pretty much my review on the Comtac International Holster. To sum it up, great buy, great value, great holster. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, comment and let me know why. I always appreciate good quality feedback. Thanks for watching and have fun out there shooting.